famous combat sports training name, trainer's name in the Philippines is the name Sangyao. It's this young man's father, Mark Sangyao, of Team Lakai. And here's John Lo Sangyao, who you've known, Dragon, since he was 12 years old. Yeah, man, I've seen this little guy walking around Team Lakai's training center for such a long time. I have really seen this guy grow up into a full-blown beast. This guy on the ground is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. His keys to victory for this matchup are going to be to mix in the takedowns with the strikes. I really want to see what this guy is capable of. I know how people have kind of wilted under the bright lights here at one championship, but this guy was born to do this. Mark bred this young man to become the perfect fighter. He has a very well-rounded skill set, and I expect him to utilize all of mixed martial arts tonight. Get your gifts from our wide range of apparel, accessories, and more at one dot shop this holiday season. Dragon, how much more pressure does it add to Jumbo to have the name Sangya? I mean, you put it in boxing terms. It'd be like a boxer coming to a promotion for the first time, and his last name is Dundee. It's a lot of pressure, but I think he can handle it well. Here's how they stack up in this battle of youth versus age in the heated bantamweight mixed martial arts division. And there you see it, 19 years old versus 33. Sangal, one centimetre, the shorter. Our global rule set for this one, three by five minute rounds, will be judged in its entirety and not as three individual rounds. For our introductions, let's go to Dom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, and martial arts fans from all around the world. Welcome to the most exciting global martial arts event, One Championship! Broadcasting to more than 150 countries from Singapore, this is One Championship Winter Warriors 2. So get ready for a night of non-stop martial arts action. And now, this match is three rounds of five minutes in a one bantamweight mixed martial arts contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he stands at 169 centimeters tall and weighs in at 64.65 kilos. Training out of Soma Fight Club Bali, representing Indonesia. Please welcome Paul the Great King. Introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He stands at 168 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.3 kilos. Training out of Team Lakai, representing the Philippines. Introducing the machine, Jello Mark And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Justin Brown. Athlete, center. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. Let's keep this match clean. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Let's watch the back of the head. Let's watch the low blows. Touch gloves, please. Back up. Mark Sangal, the first of the Team Philippines awesome foursome tonight as they take on the world. It's Team Lakai versus everybody else. And first up, the Philippines versus Indonesia. The teenager against the 33-year-old veteran who has a look of mean intent on his kiss up. Let's go. Doesn't want to touch gloves, Lamy. Sangal straight onto the leg kick. Familiar Team Lukai red trunks on Sangal. Sangal's throwing some early heat, but he gets caught by a left hand there as he's caught mid spin. Alexi Sangal mixing the takedowns, like I said, on the walk. He's got very good back attacks. He's very innovative when it comes to attacking from the back, but first he needs to stick that takedown. Nice playing combinations. Hurt Lumihi. Oh, stinging right hand from Sangal. Lumihi got tagged. Good start here from Sangal. 
taking that leg early on. He's got to be careful reaching for that leg kick, though. Here comes the first takedown attempt. Picks Double him up. Leg. Easily gets him down. Let's see if he passes the guard here. Solid start inside the opening 50 seconds for John Lo Sangao. It was interesting talking to John Lowe earlier, you know. He was saying that he likes the back attacks. He likes to sneak around, get the back. And he actually predicted a twister finish. Wow. A la Angela Lee. Big goal. Look at him. Here, attempt to attack that arm. Let's see what he's doing with this. See, you can see how he's setting it up. He's trying to pin that arm down. He tried to get that arm over the head, knowing that he would do this. Knowing that he would turn. Now he's got both hooks in. He's controlling that far side arm. Can he find a first round finish of Lumehi? Lumehi stuck in a bad position at the moment. He'd rather have this one on its feet, Lumehi. See John Lowe's attempt to attack that rear naked choke. He's a little bit high. This is more of a face crank. It's very uncomfortable, but I'm sure Lumehi's been here at Soma MMA. He's oh, sneaking he's in the low now. He's tapping out. It's good night, Irene. Ah! One and zero for Team Lakai. Of the highest order from John Lo Matsenga. Not quite the twister finish he called, but he did say plan B was the rear naked choke. And there's his dad. Done. There's his dad with him, Mark Sengao. Gives him the team shirt. Wow, Sengao makes it 1 0 for Team Lakai and the Philippines tonight with four of them on four against the world. And what a way to finish. Look at John Lo immediately jumping all over Lumihi, hurting him with the hands, throwing the kicks. I like the leg kicks he added earlier, but then he chooses to take it to the ground, take Lumihi out of his comfort zone, sinks in the rear naked choke, finds his way underneath the chin, and that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you make a debut inside one championship with a name like Sangyao. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Justin Brown, has called a stop to this contest after one minute and 41 seconds in the first round. For your winner, by way of rear naked choke, Jello Moe!